if I'm going to be considered a hoe, if I'm truthful about what my real body count is, I'm not really going to get nowhere. I could get wiped up and here you are talking about it ain't real. You think it's okay for them to lie about it because it's a lot of hoes that are getting married that nobody, they just don't know that they're marrying a hoe. No, no, They listen. just don't know it. If they're not being honest with you about it. If women do hold it down better than men when it comes to hiding their body count, it's because they feel like it lessens their value. And I'm gonna tell y'all women, men will marry an honest woman before a lying woman. And so when it comes to men and why we look at women with high body counts as less valuable is, is because one, we think about it as how many people do I have to share this girl with? You know what I'm saying? Like if this is gonna be my wife, how many people am I really sh have I shared this girl with too? So if she has a hundred body counts, a man might not be like, yo, I don't want to have this girl who had a hundred other men. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Everybody has different thresholds. Another thing is gonna be like, if she has a high body count, why why is she either weak minded in the decision making skills, or is she just foolish? And that plays a long part with the person that you're dealing with. That's the same thing if I was a guy and I was selling drugs and I kept going back to jail. And you're like, well, why are you keep on making the same mistakes? Or, or are you just foolish? So like we look at that the same way for women who are just opening their legs for whomever that it is. Is it a double standard where a girl could just have sex and not care about a guy? Yeah, you know why is it a double standard? Because for majority, it's unrealistic. Majority of women are not just gonna have sex with a guy and forget about him tomorrow. I feel like it's not fair to call a girl foolish for right. believing what a man and tells her and having sex. Yeah. And, no, having and sex we're human, just like you. It's, so. it's an over and over process. If you have no, sex one, one time, two times, three but times. But we're not had, dealing with the same person. So how do I know that this game person is going to be on the same shit because that this game, person was the on? The game don't but, change. Who am I supposed oh, to believe? Okay, but, or but am I not is, supposed to believe anyone? But this is the man's side, though. If you if if you have to think about that and you keep getting fooled, I as as a man, I don't want to deal with that because when you walk out, out this door away from me, I don't know where your mind is going. You you can get fooled with any fucking thing. If you keep getting fooled out your fucking pussy, they can take everything. From I agree. Mm -hmm. I Straight totally out. agree with that. Yeah, I have some guy friends that know about my wholeness because like it's the boys and like I can open up to them and they open up to me and I know about like the games that they play. But I think for me, like, I'd be p playing the game back. Like, you think I like you, but I really don't. I'm just trying to get my, and keep it moving. And that is different than, yes, I agree. You shouldn't believe everything a man says to you. You should get, you know, in touch with the game. But not every woman is like that. Some women just want to be open and sexual, and that's okay. It's their body. If you don't want to be with them, then don't. They'll be with someone. But then don't right. lie some about people, it. Some people actually, some women actually enjoy their sexuality like they enjoy you know like having a good time just like men do i'm not saying that that's okay i'm not saying that that's my story what i'm saying is some women actually like to go out have a good time and think you know what i'm in the moment i'm feeling this this you know the situation or this person or whatever and they just might want to have sex why is it such a big deal like it's you know not, you know how you feel when you do it so why is it such a big but it's big not data it's the continual what, what we're talking continue, about like doing it's a it continual constantly. process as if I, either you don't know that they're gaming you, or if it's okay. What if, if it, you don't care if about it, the if game? If it's truly okay, then why are we hiding it? That's the that's all that I'm that. saying. Yes. If if it's if, if, if it, no no if it's just truly if if we're gonna delve into it, if it's truly okay, you don't have to not tell your friends. But men are hiding it. It don't know. This is not what we're talking about. Okay. We talking about body count and why women don't say. We already said men get off the hook because if if we know Rico gets a lot of pussy, Rico walks out here. He's the motherfucking man. If you get a lot of dick, we walk in, you walk out and be like, yo, this bitch is a hoe. You see what I'm so saying? You, yeah. So 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 yeah, boom. You. So no, to the, the majority. I'm not when I speak on this thing, I'm not speaking on my personal views. I don't have no problem with whores, just so y'all know. Okay? <laughs> but there you go. I'm not it's biased. Whores, to, I'm not so if, I'm not biased to whores or whatever we talking about that we want to classify man. I'm cool with everybody, okay? So we're just talking about on the grand scheme of things of how men think. I have somebody, right? But when I didn't have, have somebody, this is how I would be looking at other women doing the same thing. Being that I've been in the music business for so long, I've seen all of these type of transitions of women dating other people's men and blah, 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 blah and trying to hide hide the whole body count. I don't think but, they're, they're doing that as but, much as but, anymore. 
But what? But what? you have to. You, you have, have to, to do it. I'm telling you because as a man. But you have people that are mm -hmm. in the industry mm -hmm. that literally hop from rapper to rapper to rapper, and they love it. It's like, oh, she gotta be that bitch because her, like, she gotta be because. Yeah, but, yeah, but, and then they continue to do certain things for her. I'm not saying that for everyone, but I'm just trying to get it's a fun, perspective. It's a period of time. That's yeah. that's fun. That's like you just tricking on a hoe. I got a pretty hoe with me but instead of paying like for. They're literally wiping them and yeah, buying them. Like they want Lamborghini. Ecstasy. They doing drugs. We on liquor. It's euphoria. We at the beach. We doing. We having great fucking time. We fucking menaging. Yeah, I'm gonna act like I like you. If if you would have paid attention but to when I was on last time, to some of these people, I'm we, not gonna name drop. But of course, obviously, people are getting I married. I seen a to couple these of these hoes getting married. I seen them. I know their names too. Mm -hmm. They don't last. Okay. It's only two or three of them. Yeah. It's, and it's 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 three thousand hoes out there, and three is getting married. So you talking about 0.001 percent? But do you think it's okay? For them? <laughs> Are you, They're not wiping them. But do you think it's okay for them to lie about it? Because it's a lot of hoes that are getting married that nobody they just don't know that There's they're marrying a, a hoe. They're no, not, no, they listen. just don't know it. If they're not being honest with you about their uh, body are, count, but, then they're but, not but, being honest. But that's our point. Y'all talking and I, and about I, a lot of hoes. Whether you whores. know or not, no. So it's what important to hide it. Hoes? Yeah, what is Y'all y'all keep saying hoes and whores. You got a hot body. We're exactly. talking about body count. A body exactly. count is So a, is are you guys body. considering these hoes and whores the girls with the high body counts? Because I can tell you right there, that's why they don't say shit. Right. Because exactly. why? Why? I agree. Okay. So I tell you what I'm saying. I, I totally agree with you. And you yeah. don't know that they're whores. No, yeah, because mm -hmm. if I'm going to be considered a hoe, if I'm truthful about what my real body count is, I'm not really going to get nowhere. I could get wiped up and... Here you are talking about it ain't real. They gonna get the they gonna break, man. break up in two years. That's a hoe. He not gonna he ain't really wife her. They get married all the time. When I if I if I'm marrying you, right? When I talk to you, if I know I've been a whore, which I was, and I told my wife, I told her every fucking day. Okay? There was no holding nothing back. The very first week she met me. So a, you didn't take like, to the about, grave. Yo, a mm -hmm. nigga, no, I, I told my wife because I'm committing to her. I'm not telling my boys and all the rest of that type of shit. Now, if niggas is there, cool. That's a whole nother topic. I told my wife, right? A very next week, a dude came in and said, yo, don't fuck with him. He turns bitches out. He does this. He spend money. He does all this wild shit. And she said, he told me. It was nothing a man could say from that point. So if you want to be real with your nigga, you would want to tell him, yo, my body count, I made mistakes, nigga. I went through a whole phase in 12th grade. I did this and I did that. Because if you run into a motherfucker, the, lead, the last thing you want a man to do is be in love with you. And, and Rico that. says she's a fucking whore. It's over. It'll, bre it'll break it's your over. whole shit down. <laughs> and all you had to do was tell him or, or put your dick on that same line that you want him to put it on and say, like, yo, this is what I did. Take me or don't take me. We will respect that, but you will lose a couple of niggas behind let me, it. That's let me, just let what me it give is. you a situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say I told my partner I have 10 bodies. Mm -hmm. Could be the truth, could be a lie. Whatever. No, you only have two bodies. <laughs> some, guy, some guy comes, mm -hmm. tells them otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yo, this happened last month, blah, blah, blah. Maybe not last month. Let's say last year. I'm not I got a you. I'm not a hoe. Okay. Last year, blah blah blah. I don't, I don't find no reason that my partner could come back to me and be like, "So you didn't tell me about this because I told you I had ten bodies." Now, did I give you a story for every single one? Yeah, no. no, I'm not. I'm not no, looking for that. Saying. But I mean, actually, I that mean, kind I'm of yeah, it matters. Yeah, it matters. It matters because if you got train ran with three niggas, exactly. Definitely, you're done up. But that occurs within girls' first three times. Shit happens. No, but this is the problem, and this is what we're trying to say, right? Like, you know why or how it couldn't have been a problem is if you told him before y'all started dating. Be straightforward. Listen. I have ten bodies. Two of them was in the same time. Yeah, but it's, and then what? And then and you get worried about. But you worried about. No, you first of all, first of all, I would never ever let two guys hit at the same time. I think that that is not okay. But if you are a woman it's that a no judgment zone by the I'm way. I'm sorry, for me, yeah. the way I the way I roll. But if I do have friends that, you know are into that and they're with people who like to hook up with other people at the same time. So they found their match. They found mm -hmm. someone who matched them on that sexual level. Yep. You know how they did that? They had to be honest but about it. Speak about but, it. But so <laughs> let me just say since you guys since you guys, you know, wanted to come for me earlier, 
I told my boyfriend I had a whole phase at the age of 18 and 19. He told me he also had his whole phase when he did it. We don't need to get into detail about it, but I must say, I come from, you know, a, a, a smaller town. He's from Queens. Okay. So I think it's different where if you guys grew up in the same town or in the same place and you guys still hang out with your friends from high school and she's lying on her body count and you guys are at a party and she had sex with like three, four, five different guys in the room and she never said anything, then I think that's disrespectful because I will never bring my man now in a room with guys that I know would be there that I hooked up with because I don't even want to put myself in that situation. So can I, 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 I just, ahead. I just wanted to say something before I lost it. And I, this is no judgment to you, by the way. Okay. I swear. I wouldn't even be Back in the day, we had a rule. We never trust out of town girls because out of town girls <laughs> will go. be doing crazy shit in their town. Mm -hmm. And then they try to come into oh our town God. wholesome. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I agree. And we used to be like, and Absolutely. we we all, as a young man, we all bit the bait and say, yo, I got her. She's yeah. from such and such. <laughs> Until you meet such and such from such and such. And they'd be like, and she that, was going to town. Exactly. So it like, but like, as, but <laughs> I seen, I've seen, what happened? She said, where's the small town that you're yeah. from, by the uh, way? No, but I don't think that would be the case with me. But I'm just saying like, you have to... Out of town, I definitely understand because that's how we would feel when we were at high school parties and a guy would bring, you know, an out of town girl. We would be like, that girl is definitely a hoe. And then we would find out that she is. But you're grown. <laughs> like, you're, you're grown. Like, the time has, like, you know, the same way that I hooked up with someone when I was 18, 19 years old is not even the same way that, like, I probably wouldn't even hook up with you at this point in my life. So it's like, why are you going to be worried about? But it's not about that. What it is is, like, it's more so, like, for a man... We just want to know what we have. Like, just respect that. And my thing is, I don't like, is like when I try to tell, like all us men try to tell women what we're looking for and y'all try to debate with us on what we looking for. <laughs> all we want is for you to be honest. If you had a whole face at 18 or 19 and we're 25, fuck that 18, 19 year old shit. Exactly. We're good. But leave it exactly. up to me to but make yeah. the decision. Don't con me or, yeah. or lie or front about this whole body count knowing you already coming into the relationship lying. Yeah, but I think... If you're going to lie about I it, agree. let's not talk about yeah. it. If we, if, if, yeah. if you were a man and you're talking about body, let's nah, not we go gotta there. Talk, we got to talk about it, bro. <laughs> what, but I'm what are you going to talk up. about I'm it for? Let it me up. ask you a question. <laughs> what are you going to bring it up for if all three of them just said they're gonna lie. Now, I the didn't say that. Oh, man, I'm I don't know. I'm talking about judging. my ladies because I know this is my bad. This is I, like, I don't there. give up. Well, you know what girls do, it. but yeah. I, I ain't lying. I ain't do you think girls lie about, lie about their body count though on some real shit? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Okay, so, so my girl, yeah, so my like, question to Rico is they gonna be hoes and whores. Yeah, exactly. So my so why you asking Rico? The way I would ask, because I don't ask for body count. I asked a very specific question. What's that? It's two parts. Did you have a whole phase and did it consist of any threesomes with two males? No and no is what she's going to no say. And then, no, it's, and then it's, we're it could cool. Be true. And she's lying. And it's true. Well, if she, <laughs> she's lying. If she's lying. If she's lying. I'm giving an example. I'm giving an example. But like, I'm giving an example. This if is he was how he's talking. made to be the bully on set. Because why does it always have to be some negative connotation? Yeah, like she's lying. Like with a female, I'm why giving, does she have to be lying? I'm giving about him the having a tool? Because you know that is that is I'm, very I'm, rare. I'm just giving him the alternative because he thinks that they're telling the truth. Nah. So I'm saying, why are you asking no, no, no. that they have the ability wait, wait, to wait, lie, the boss thing, lady? I'm yeah, getting sure. to lie. I'm get married. So, okay, so, lie. So, lie. So, so, to answer your question, it's not about me asking, right, mm -hmm. to get the truth. Okay. It's me giving you an opportunity to it's tell me the truth. But how do you know what the truth is? You're just going to no, gauge no, 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 it. No, what I'm saying is that I'm a, I'll log it in my mental book, uh -huh. and then five so years five years down the line, be like, hey, bro, you know we ran training with girl back in the day. In my mind, this bitch lied to me. I gave her an opportunity to tell me about it. If she didn't tell me about it, if I never find out about it, then it's cool. But, but did you I, just have the best five years of your life with her, or yeah. no? I don't care. Fuck. What? How many years I had with her? Like, it's, it's over. When do you ask her this question? <laughs> what the, part of what, the dating stage do you ask her? Hey, did two guys like? When I decide that I time? really like her, Wait, is when I start asking okay, questions. Okay, but then that's a selfish decision because what if then you ask her and she's like. 
I did because she likes you too and she wants to be honest with you. And then Wait, time out. First of all, I'm not naive. I'm I'm the point guard in the game. Right, so <laughs> I'm saying that to say, uh, I got you, I'm just playing real quick. Go ahead, lay the plan, because I got your ass. All right, so I'm not naive in this game. I've been, I, you know what I'm saying, I know what I'm doing. So when I decide that I like you, it's because I know you already decided that you really like me. You know what I'm saying? So once I know that, then I'm like, all right, cool. Then I, I give you a chance to start really and opening up. And she says up. yes, she did. All right, so then that is up to me. If I really like her, then I'm like, all right, cool, we're going to move forward. If I don't like her that much... No, you're not. So when you beat this perfect girl that's not going to lie to you, why are you going to tell why, her... Wait, time out. Why are we talking about perfect? Are you going to... When you meet this girl that doesn't tell you any lies and is going to tell you how much her body count is, are you going to tell her that you've been loving, eating pussy and fucking raw bitches? Yes, for the it's on. It's, it's already... Oh, First of all, let me tell you something. For you, let me tell you something. First and foremost... You've been fucking and fucking and fucking yeah, I've been raw, fucking, fucking raw, eating, eating. Uh, body beautiful, the liquor asshole. Mm. Yep, yep. Look, you gonna I'm tell a, her all that shit? And I, is she gonna, wait, if she judges you, what if you really want this girl? If she judges you no. and says, I don't want to fuck with you, how you gonna feel? I, exactly. I don't care. Okay, like, then cool. Like, like, right. She'll be cool with everything. Yeah, I'm about everyone, to say, bro. like, let me go Let me go for a second. Let me answer your question, right? She'll be cool with everything. I'm 100% honest with every female that I ever really, really fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I fuck you right. on someone that's saying it, I don't really owe you no honesty. But, like, I'm talking about, like, if I'm fucking with you and we're trying to, we're trying to build somewhere, and she asked me, first of all, girls already know not to ask me what's my body count. The first thing I'm going to tell is, I don't know. And I don't think you want to have that conversation. <laughs> And then that should allow her to understand. So in okay. conclusion, it's okay for guys yeah, like, to be hoes and it's not okay for women to be thotty. All right. We didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, we already get that. We already get it. We're standard. talking about how it is a double standard. Um, that was your segment of eight at the table. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, to wrap up today's topic, I feel like females, we hold it down and we take bodies to the grave better than men. Period. That's only because Period. it lessens your value. And it's only because they think that because they're women themselves. I despise this absolutely word, but what I'm going to say is if women do hold it down better than men when it comes to hiding their body count, it's because they feel like it lessens their value. And I'm going to tell y'all women, men will marry an honest woman before a lying woman. I just don't understand why these women right now <laughs> are saying that it's cool not to be truthful but they still want to be locked in with a man. I just don't get that part. Oh, that body count do not.